Hey everyone, thank you for tuning in to Team Forbidden's YouTube page again. This is Andrew the Collector here with a deck that a lot of people are not going to like me for, but honestly, it's my second favorite deck, so I don't really care. Um, it's Chain Burn. 60 card Chain Burn, to be exact. Um, I went with uh, 60 card Chain Burn because of, uh, mainly because of Pot of Desires. You banish 10 cards to draw two, so I figure might as well go the max amount that you can in a deck so that way you don't mine this too hard but let's just get right into it uh so honestly the monster count is really low you have three lilith lady of lament she's one of the best uh monsters that you can uh that you can have um you normal summoner tribute her for cost to um re to reveal three normal trap cards your opponent randomly chooses one of them and set and it's set to your side of the field the only downside is that you can't activate the turn it's set, but she's still really good. The most important monster in the deck is Absolute Bat Jack. He has two effects. The first one is that when he's sent to the graveyard by any means, you can look at the top cards of your deck, rearrange them in any order, and then uh, put them back on. And then during your opponent's turn, you can banish him from your graveyard, reveal the top card of your deck. If it's a normal trap card, you can automatically set it, and it can be activated during that same turn. You love seeing this guy in your hand because you normal summon him out, link him away, get his effect, wait for your opponent's turn, and then um, and then go from there. Then name of the game is Stalling, so three Battle Fader. Uh, when your opponent declares a direct attack, special summon this, and in the battle phase, it's really good. And then the last of our monsters are two card card D to set up your plays for next turn. Um, only use him um, when. Uh, you are done setting up for your turn because after you activate his effect, your turn ends. Simple as that. Now to the spells. The most controversial card in the entire game. I love it. Everyone else hates it. I'll admit that this card is extremely broken and probably does deserve to get hit on the ban list, but it single-handedly slows down all of the combo decks. I don't hate it. I hate it. Shut the fuck up, John. Um... So it it single-handedly shuts down uh, shuts down the um, shuts down combo decks. So my mentality is is, uh, is that as long as people play combo decks, which prevent your opponent from playing the game anyway, I'm still going to be running this. And then one terraforming, obviously. Three pot of extravagance. Um, it's it's kind of counterintuitive to run to run three of these plus a bunch of other draw cards, but. Um, in the long run, when you're stalling, it doesn't really matter. So, three pot of extravagance, three duality, two pot of desires. Um, I, I think that you can also run three, but I found two to be relatively fine. I mean, it is a sixty card deck, so you're not going to be uh, drawing a second your other copy too often anyway. But I found two to be perfectly fine, especially with the amount of draw cards that you have. But you can run three if you want. And then one card demise. Bring this back to three. It needs to come back to three because True Draco's shenanigans. Because I actually did run that deck too. One upstar goblin for additional uh, for additional draw, draw power. And with the amount of burn that you deal to your opponent, the extra life points that you give them isn't really um, isn't really a bother. The one chain strike. I love this card. It's really good. It's li literally where this deck gets its name from. Bring it back to two at least. Uh, three might be a little much, but yeah, run it, run it at, um, de you definitely need to run it. Now off to the traps, which is literally half of this deck. You have all of your burn cards. You have three secret barrel, three secret blast, three cease fire, three just desserts, two bad luck blasts, and one ring of destruction. All of these cards are essential to the strategy. I do not have dimension wall, which is a really good battle trap. Um, because if, if you bait out your opponent's Dragoon effect, it, it can it can really hurt them a lot. Um, but I don't have it. If you have it, run it and take out anything else that you uh, that you don't want in this deck. But if you have Dimension Wall, run Dimension Wall. Uh, three Dark Sacrifice. Uh, this is probably one of the best protections that you can offer. Um, if your opponent activates a card that includes destroying a card or cards, doesn't matter where, um, activate this, negate the effect, and send, and then you can send any, uh, level 3 or lower fiend, dark fiend, um, hello, to your graveyard. So yeah, it's, 
I mean, it's, it's a win-win. You set this, you have guaranteed protection against destruction, and then you can send most likely your absolute back, back jack to the graveyard, and then after that, get his effect off. And then use a second effect during, during the same turn. Um, it obviously per protects against, you know, Twin Twisters, Harpy's Feather Duster, and any Omni Negate. That's uh, one thing that a lot of people don't um, uh, forget is that any Omni Negate not only negates, but also destroys. So this thing still can, uh, can still negate negate that effect. As long as it's not, you know, spell speed three or higher, this car, this car will be, be able to stop it. Unless it's Cosmic Cyclone, because Cosmic Cyclone doesn't destroy it, which is probably the deck's biggest weakness. Two Ajama Trio. Um, I mean, you could take these out for the Dimension Walls. It's not too necessary with how much your opponent swarms the field, plus you're giving them free resources. But combined with just desserts, it's it can be a real hindrance. And uh, again, and with Ritual decks, it, it might... Uh, actually, no. It's only for Tribute Summons, not Tribute in general. Next, uh, three Grave Diggers Trap Hole. Again, another experimental card because it works against monster effects and it deals two, uh, two stacks of damage. So, yeah. Three trap tricks. We run a, a whole lot of normal traps, so this is obviously uh, three of. Uh, only downside is that after you activate it, you can only activate one more trap card per turn, so make sure you do all your change shenanigans first and then, uh, and then fire this off. Three Wabaku, stalling game. Three Judgment, and then one Metaverse for Mystic Mind, obviously. The extra deck is literally just waking the Dragon targets, except for obviously like All Mirage, the Secure Gardeners, and um, Relinquish Anima. Um, switch these out for Link Rebo. The only reason why I don't have these as Link Rebo is because of uh, the, they're in another deck right now. But if you have Link Karibos, switch these out, maybe even put in three Link Karibos. Because the strategy that you usually go for is that you normal summon out back jack, link off into Link Karibo, and then Link, link Karibo off into Secure Garden up for, uh, to protect it against any battle or effect damage. But other than those, it's literally just waking the dragon targets. Uh, Ultimate Falcon, Mech Knight, Crystal Beast, Last Warrior, Boral Sword. So you can really fill up the extra deck with whatever you want because you don't really use it too much except for uh, Extravagance Fodder. The side deck is another story. Three Blizzard, Lightning Storm, Hev Harpy's Feather Duster, basically any, uh, Cosmic Cyclone, basically any spell card that, that, can, uh, that, will, that can allow you to go into one more turn is, is essential. Three goes in match. Um, if you're going up against really heavy combo decks that you're having str uh, trouble against, you flip this on them and it st and it you know stalls them out. Again, stalling is the name of the game, so it's really good. Three bla uh, two blazing mirror force um, battle trap that also does uh, burn. Not good against a lot of decks, but against something like like let's say dinosaurs, it can work wonders. One skill drain, it's skill drain. You, your monsters' effects go off in the graveyard anyway, so it doesn't really it doesn't really hinder it. And two waking the dragon. Um, I would have, I would put in a third, but I don't have a third, so two is all I have. Um, if you're going up against heavy combo decks and you're going second, raw sphere mode plus lava golem, and the tokens for Ojama Trio and anything else. And that's it for the deck profile. Love me, hate me, I don't care. This is one of my favorite decks that I've ever used. Um, I constantly want to update it for um, for how the meta shapes up, but yeah. Uh, haven't used a six card deck since Skull Servant, uh, Long Lowing Skull Servants was a thing, and I kind of like it. Um, if you guys have any ideas for any other 60 card decks that you want me to try and build, uh, let me know in the comments down below if you have any ideas on how you want me to improve this. Also let me know. Uh, keep an eye out for some future videos that we have coming for you. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Happy Holidays, and we'll catch you guys later.